Hi, and thank you for joining me on this tutorial about composition for visual art. Whether you're a photographer, painter, 3D artist, I think these techniques can be useful, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is two-point composition. And it's just a very simple but very effective composition, and it works very well. So basically, all you do is you have a character or large object in one side of the frame. And what it does is it helps to push your eye towards the background and the right side of the frame. So all it does is it creates this dynamic movement and it helps create this nice depth of foreground to background. So it's a very common technique. Often in film, they use it for what's called an over the shoulder shot, just having a character in the foreground to block out part of the frame. And it just helps to focus your attention on the second character in the other side of the frame. So that's the basic over the shoulder shot. And I'll just go through a few more examples of how I use that same composition in my other paintings. So here we have the same thing, just a character in the foreground that creates a nice sense of depth that brings the foreground right close to the, the camera. And it creates this focal point that you, you see the character and you're stepping into his shoes and you're seeing what he's looking at, which is the second, second focal point, which just helps you to, to focus your eye on what he's looking at. I'll show you the next example. Same thing here, you have a large object in the foreground and it helps to push your eye towards the background. And having the characters here create nice focal points for you to lead you into the image and you can really feel like you're stepping into their shoes and seeing where they have to go on their journey in the film and in the image. So it's a very simple technique but it's used over and over in many films and TV shows and here again we have the same thing. You have a big object and you don't even need a character for this to work you can just have something big blocking one side of the frame and it really helps to just push you into the image and it helps to balance the image and push your eye towards the other part of the frame you have a big object on the left side of the screen and it does the same thing it pushes your eye into the background of the image and really creates a nice feeling of depth and movement into your image. So you can really feel how that works. Even if I go ahead and flip the image, you can really feel how there's this nice movement in towards the background. So here's another example where you have a strong focal point, high contrast, that draws your eye to this area of the image. But you also have a second focal point, which is this peak of the mountain. And it really helps to have these two points that allows the viewer to wander from one point down to a second point. And it really creates this nice back and forth feeling and the rest of the image just really helps to support those points keeping the the lines moving in a circular direction so here's another example where you have a strong foreground and it pushes your eye in towards this mountain but say you want the focus more to be on this mountain and all you need to do is just flip the foreground 
So you can see having the foreground on this side, then flipping to this side. Now having this strong foreground object really just pushes your eye towards this as a focal point. So it's a cool way to, to guide the viewer to where you want them to look because in film images, you often only have two or three seconds for people to see the shot. So you want them to know where to look. So that's the two point composition. I hope that makes sense and I hope you can try it, play around with it. I think the important thing about composition is it's not about exact dimensions or you know measuring every little object to make sure it's in the perfect place. I think it's more just about feeling the movement of the image and where the viewer's eye tends to look and trying to just use everything to, to support the focal point. And I think it's just something the more you play around with, the more you sort of get a feeling for it. And maybe one day it will just click for you and it all makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments or questions below. And thanks for joining me.